Welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Matt and I are just getting ready to go into Balham to do a little bit of last minute Christmas shopping. And then he is about to meet some of his friends, well, not his friends, his cousins, for like a little cousin's evening at Flight Club in Victoria. And I'm gonna go and get my nails done. I'm gonna get manicure and pedicure just in time for Christmas. I don't know whether to go for something like red tips or a French manicure or just like a plain dark colour. Um, my toes, I'm just gonna go for a plain dark colour, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna take you along with us. We are kind of rushing now. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of gloss as well. And I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna pick up something for dinner. I'm thinking maybe a Waitrose curry today. And yeah, let's get going. I have all my cash for my nail appointments because they only accept cash, so I need to keep that safe. Oops, hold on. been loving this jazz christmas youtube channel this has like these really cute little scenes on the tv they all look very cozy it was saving us when we were in the depths of despair with no heating the other day minutes ago Matt and I went out into Balham earlier to do a little bit of Christmas shopping we were meant to get some food for this week as in some dinner for tonight and then uh and some Christmas shopping and then I was I went to get my nails done which I'm very happy with I don't know if this is focusing or not but I got little red tips which I love I'm really pleased with them and I also got a pedicure Midway through getting my pedicure, I realised Matt's Matt actually left me and he went to a event with his cousins. And midway through my pedicure, I realised I had no house keys and he was going to meet them at three o'clock and then he's staying out until like maybe half eight. And the plan was I was going to like finish off doing a few bits, get some bits for his Christmas stocking and then come home and I actually have some work that I need to do before tomorrow. I have quite a bit of work I need to do before tomorrow. And I was going to do that and then do some vlogging and all of that stuff for tomorrow's video. And I couldn't get in the flat. So instead, I ended up going to join the juice and I sat in there. I had a chicken club because I hadn't eaten pretty much all day except for that bit of banana bread that I had earlier. And yeah, what a day. I'm honestly like a bit exhausted. It is 10 past six. I faced on my sister for a little while, which was really nice. Just caught up with her. And then... Now I am just in and you know when you just get so tired and you're like I can't be bothered doing anything but I have so much to do. I also before the boiler guy came the other day when I showed you guys I think I think I showed you in the video where we keep all our washing. The washing was so overflowing out of that basket and into that cupboard that I had nowhere else to put it when I knew he had to get into the cupboard. So I just shoved all the dirty washing in the bottom of Matt's wardrobe and I need to do some washing basically like I've got so much washing that it's just ridiculous so I'm going to put a load of washing on I'm going to do like a quick tidy around put away the dishes that I did earlier today make myself a cup of tea and then I'm going to go and tackle the top drawer in my bedroom which is just full of crap that you're going to see in a minute and have a clear out of that drawer then I'm going to come in here and do a bit of work that I really need to do before tomorrow 
and then maybe some vlogmas stuff because I'm just sitting here procrastinating and it's getting ridiculous but I just wanted to show you my nails quickly and then I'll do my clean up. I realise I didn't tell you how I got in the house. Matt Ubered the keys to me which was £20, £20 that we did not need to be spending because I'm so stupid that I just didn't even think about keys. So that's how I got in. <laughs> So I am about to clear out my drawers and I'm going to show you the mess that is in this top drawer in a second. And then I'm going to put some music over the next few clips and just tidy and show you what I'm doing. But I wanted to quickly show you what we picked up today while we were shopping because we got some really cute little extra gifts for Matt's niece for Christmas. And it just made me so nostalgic just thinking about the things I used to get for Christmas and how excited I used to get. And like, yeah, kids are just so sweet at Christmas. So we got her this little beanie baby to go in with her Christmas gift. So we got her like a Nintendo, she's got a Nintendo Switch, so we got her a game for it. And then we got her this little beanie baby. And then also some cute gel pens, because I just love little things like this. I used to get so excited by stationery when I was a kid. I still do. I love little presents like this. So these are like glitter gel pens. Oh my god, so sweet. And then I actually was like, I would love these. And obviously these are for children, but... They're pastel highlighters and they have little mean animal faces. They're not all mean, but some of them are animal faces on them. How sweet are they? And she's really like loves coloring in and like crafts and stuff. So I'm sure she'll like those. Then when Matt left, I picked up some bits for his stocking. So I've already kind of really overspent on him. So these are really small bits and they're just for his like Christmas stocking. So I got some of the Tony's Chocoloni whatever it's called, for his stocking. We love these chocolates, they're really nice. So I thought that would be a nice little addition. Then I also picked up, because he's quite into his like health and you know, he gets worried about microplastics and all these different things. So I thought I would pick up the wild refillable natural deodorant and I thought he would like it and it comes in like quite a nice package. So I thought that was a really nice like stocking filler. I then picked up on his favourite and my favourite, the VO5 gel spray. He just sprays it in his hair and kind of, yeah, very easy, but he uses up a lot of these. So I thought just get him a little extra refill. And then I saw this and I thought it was quite nice and he likes, you know, bath things and things like that. So I got this Sunday whipped green tea exfoliating shower gel, which I just thought was like quite cool packaging and stuff. So I thought it'd be a nice little addition to his stocking. Then the final thing that I picked up, yeah, the final thing that I picked up is the Nivea eye makeup remover because I realised that I have not been using an eye makeup remover and it's starting to get like a bit dry around my under eyes. So I just wanted to gently remove my eye makeup from now on. So that's everything I picked up today. And then obviously I got my nails done as well. So a bit of a spendy day, but that's all right. Right, let's get on and get my drawers all cleaned because they're in absolute state. Wait till you see this. This is embarrassing. Here we go. Be prepared. Look at all this stuff. All this crap. <laughs> this is my nail stuff that I keep in here. This is like a little Fjol Raven kit with nail stuff. That's like, that's got old nails in it as well. That needs to be cleared out, but I'll just, that's for another day. Work notepads, I've got belts, cotton pads that I got the other day, old bags, like it's just lots and lots of crap. Here's the before.
Okay, the drawer is now completely empty. Everything's been put out here on the, what's it called? The chest of drawers. And I'm gonna be extremely ruthless with what I keep and what I throw away. <laughs> is the after of the cleanup. So I have my nail stuff still in there. I have my reusable pads. This is my little space NK thing full of just like travel minis and things like that. Got some hair rollers, my umbrella, packet of unopened tissues, I thought I'll just keep them. My empty phone thing. Then under there, that's my Invisalign stuff. I have a little velvet scrunchie a belt some jewelry and a little tray that's like my most worn jewelry that i wear daily a hair clip my airpods case a little stash of tampons an adapter a bag of cotton wool balls my airpods which are causing me to have eczema in my ears a little hair towel some old cards that i'm quite sentimental about that i'm keeping and then in here, God, this really could do with a wash as well. I've just got some like old individual eyelashes, the Rimmel Sun Shimmer that I don't use every day, but it's handy to have. Another scrunchie. What else? Or oh, Revital Lash, which I've kind of given up using just now because I feel like it's probably causing me a bit of red eyes. And then obviously I have like my hair and daily use stuff down there. So that's me pretty much all done. I feel really productive for having done that because I have been meaning to do that for months. I'm not kidding, like actually months. And also this whole bag of Sainsbury stuff is all from my drawer and it was all rubbish. So that's that, <laughs> very silly, just hoarding it all. I'm now gonna sit and do a little bit of work. I think Matt's gonna be in I don't know when, probably like half eight, maybe quarter to nine. So we're not gonna be eating till a little bit later, but I do have some yum, really yummy Waitrose curries that we're gonna have, so I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, I'm gonna sit and do a little bit of work now. The stuff that I really need to get done tomorrow. And I don't know when I'm gonna to edit tonight's vlog, uh, tomorrow's Vlogmas, because I've not started yet and I'm still filming. I have no content for today, but maybe you can watch me do some work for a few hours.
our dinner ready for Matt coming home. Can you see me? We have curries tonight. So I have chicken tikka masala, although it's quite late, 20 to nine. No, wait, yeah, 20 to nine. And I think I might just have half of this. I think it's supposed to be for like two people. <laughs> we have aloo gobi, sag. Matt has a chicken madras. We have some rice that I need to make. And then we also have some vegetable samosas because I'm not that hungry. Oh, and we have these tandoori garlic and coriander nans. I was so hungry earlier, but I'm just, I'm not anymore. So anyway, I'm gonna put these in now and I might just keep half of mine for tomorrow. desperately need some more oven proof dish situations because we only have this one Pyrex and whenever I only want a portion a little bit of something or like some of it I have to actually use this whole thing that's a bit silly to be honest I always find it so weird when a packet the back of the packet says for best results microwave like really we don't have microwave so we can't but it's just so bizarre to me remove sleeve and pierce film okay fine how do we cook these 18 oh 60 minutes Okay, Matt is obviously running a little bit late. He's, he got to the tube station like 10 minutes ago, so he's just walking up from Balham now. But I thought good opportunity to sign the vlog off and show you what we're having for dinner. So this is our little spread. I've got a little candle here. We have the naan breads, one each. Matt has a lot of rice. I have a bit of rice. I don't really, I'm not that fast on rice. We have the ali, aloo gobi, which is the like cauliflower, spinach thing, whatever. That's Matt's chicken madras. Oh, he's buzzing me to let him in. So then we have the chicken tikka over here. And then we've got two, well, Matt's got two samosas. I've got one and we've got our delicious naan breads. We are gonna settle down for the evening, eat this, and then probably go to bed quite shortly after eating it because it's quite late now. So. Yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely December and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.